How you going guys? My name's Josh Sawino. I'm here to get you up and running with your brand new Pimax Crystal in the OpenXR software side of things. Okay, so everything we're going to be using today is going to be down in the description below. Um, all the links and everything, the current versions, so they may be out of date by the time you watch this video, but um, if you get the most up-to-date versions, I'm sure you'll be right. So, um, basically the reason we want to use Pimax uh, XR or OpenXR for Pimax is the uh, performance benefits we're going to be getting from it. So we're bypassing SteamVR in a lot of cases and um, yeah, basically that's a clunky piece of software that introduces lag. So we're going to try and avoid that. So here we are, basically um, we're at the Pimax uh, official website here and they have their own guide, um, written format, just here to make a video, make it all easy for you guys. And um, this is what we're going to be going through in uh, in video form, essentially. And Open Composite, which I'm highlighting here, is a big one. So this is what we're going to use to hook into the back end to uh, tell our applications to use the OpenXR runtime to render our game, sim, whatever you're playing. Okay, so here we go. First one we're going to install, <coughs> beg my pardon, is the Pimax Play official client. So. We're just going to go through, click th click through here, and uh, fast forward, boom, that is going to be installed. All right, so once that one's installed, um, you can create a login, and basically from there, you can set it up how you like in the Pimax Play software. Once I get the headset, I'll be making videos for that, no doubt. So the next version, uh, sorry, the next piece of software we're going to install is the OpenXR Toolkit. Now, we're going to click through here to allow access here. Um, and we are going to next, 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 install that one. And then next one is the Pimax XR runtime. So this is the actual runtime that um, is going to render all the uh, 3D and all the game sim, everything else. Next one is Open Composite. So very basic here. Um, this one just needs extracting, uh, create a shortcut to it and Basically, once you run it, it will uh, tell the game sim everything to use the runtime that you've chosen. So, all right, now we're going to kick into how to use the software. <coughs> Alrighty, guys, so here we are. We're going to um, show you how to use Open Composite really quick. So we boot it up, and once it's booted up, basically you have a button here that enables you to switch to Open Composite. So we're going to go ahead and click that one. Um, not much else to do. Basically, it's going to download the DLLs and uh, runtimes that you need um, in the background. And it is going to say status, open composite, open XR, download complete. That means that you are ready to go. Easy as that. If this button is highlighted and if you ever want to go back to SteamVR, all you do is you hit this one, boom, ready to go. Easy as. All right, so the next one that we want to go through here is the open XR toolkit. Now, huge shout out to Matt again, done an amazing job on this one. Um, I haven't actually used it with a new Pimax crystal as I haven't got the headset. Hopefully that rocks up very soon. Um, we should have it in a few hours and I'll be able to confirm my findings here. But basically, uh, have, a, have a toolkit application open. Um, that's a requirement and you need to bind the up, down, left, right buttons. Uh, in headset menu visibility should be both eyes unless you want to see it blurry. I love seeing things in 3D So that's why we're here I guess both eyes and it is going to show you what it is going to work with so DCS world FS 2020 i racing They're my three core VR games. I'm a big sim fan. So that's what we do. So one, you can set modifiers um, if you want to uh, have the buttons to use the menus with in-game uh, with a modifier if you're running out of controls um, but apart from that, basically we go into the game, hit the menu buttons, I believe any menu button brings it up, um, and it will have a timeout after I believe about 10 seconds, so you just, if you do, if you just want to stop touching things and have it automatically go away, timeout works perfectly. Um, but once we're in there, we can get, get into the nitty gritties and we can really refine what, um, our OpenXR settings are. So, uh, the first one is the, first main one is the resolution um, so you can set the actual re render resolution. Um, this is a big one. It's going to gain massive performance for you. And every other setting is based off that render resolution. Okay, then we've got world scale. Um, FOV, it, it's, it's just uh, how much uh, world scale is rendered. 
So the lesser uh, world scale, basically uh, your system is gonna render less of the game, okay? So, or CM I should say. <coughs> Bang my button. <clears throat> and then the next one, uh, sharpening, I'm just going off memory here, but um, so basically uh, he's got options to enable a whole heap of sharpening options. Um, I believe there's NIS and FSR. Um, can't remember, he might have XESS, um, he might have TAA, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, but yeah, you can go through and you can narrow down and you can set sharpening options if you still want to kind of, you know, get it a little bit clearer for yourself. And then, basically we're into the good stuff here, foveated rendering, so Crystal, amazing headset, hopefully um, it has Toby eye tracking in it, and we want to render where we're looking, okay? So basically your eyes can only see a, a very narrow viewport um, sharp. Everything outside of that is gonna be slightly out of focus, okay? So, um, the foveated rendering is going to enable us to only render where we're looking in a sharp zone, and then we want to render the uh, areas wider than that at a lesser resolution. So hopefully we can gain a massive performance uplift, okay? so. We want to set our inner circle as small as we can see before it starts. We can we can notice the blur, uh, sorry, the pixelation. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping, I'm guessing somewhere between 40 and 60% is what we're going to be rendering um, that inner circle uh, clear, clear for ourselves. So, um, and then after that, we want to go lesser resolution. So you can go all the way to like a, a 32nd or a 16th, I believe, as you go out to the outer circle. Um, you've got three circles that you can modify the settings for, but um, really excited for this one. Uh, this enables games that aren't native uh, DFR, uh, dynamic foveated rendering, or off-track foveated rendering, whatever we call it, um, to have foveated rendering uh, using our eye tracking, which is amazing. So uh, in DCS specifically, uh, Mabuchia has come out and said... Um, that we should expect a 50% uplift unless we're CPU bound. So if we're getting 60 now, expect 90. That, that's mind blowing, that's huge. That's so big for us VR users. Um, but uh, time will tell, I guess. We will see how we go, but. All right, we might wrap this video up here. Um, if you loved it, give it a thumbs up if you could. Um, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more. Um, any comments, uh, what you wanna see in the future, um, I'm all for smashing out the crystal content. I know you guys are all thirsty for it. You're all waiting for your headsets, and there's been a fortunate few that have them that haven't been really uploading all as much as I thought. You know, we're getting kind of one or two videos a day. Um, I'm refreshing my feed more than that. So how's that? Um, I'll be trying to put out some videos uh, for everyone, um, including the one that I've been slacking on, the Cube Control CSX3 video, my beautiful sim wheel that... Um, I've been using for quite some time now and I have some interesting things to say about it good and bad so I'm gonna get working on that one I've story about it already um, just been waiting to get out of bed really I've been really unwell for nearly a month now COVID and yep immunocompromiser immunocompromisation I don't even know if that's a word we're gonna trademark it but um yep all good I'm gonna get on to that so uh, catch us all next time thank you for watching any questions chuck them down in the comment section Peace.